First of all, I would like to thank all of the administrators, faculty, friends, and family members that have pushed and sometimes even dragged each and every one of us to try harder. We would not have made it here without you guys. I would also like to thank everyone ahead of time for listening to whatever I am about to say, because in a few short minutes you will regret it. <laughs> but who knows, maybe we will all take something away from this. Honestly though, this experience is going to be a personal victory if I manage not to throw it. <laughs> My fellow graduates, over the last four years of high school, we have learned many valuable lessons. Mr. Hulahan, oh sorry, Mr. Hula Hoop, you taught us to push ourselves but still know our limits, so we don't derive off a cliff. Miss Stanley taught us that sewing the remains of various dead people together was unethical when we read Frankenstein. And Mr. Bradbury showed us how to make a car using a battery and some popsicle sticks. Now, I don't know about you, but I personally cannot wait to use all of those very practical things in my everyday life. <laughs> all joking aside, though, if I were to come up with a single thing that high school has shown me time and time again, it would be that procrastination is probably not the best way to handle things. For instance, maybe it wasn't the best choice to wait until 3 o'clock in the morning to do the government paper, or even 1 o'clock in the morning to write this very speech. No, procrastination is something that I think we've all done, but it's also something that we need to overcome now that we are going to the real world. And I'm not talking about the MTV series. <laughs> If we want a chance at succeeding in whatever we do in life, we should ditch the procrastination. In fact, maybe we should all strive to become those sappy cliches that people say at graduation. Like, you are the future, or never settle, because even though I find each one of those a bit ridiculous, there's still probably a glimmer of wisdom in each one. We can interpret you are the future as, all you have to do is wait for the person who currently has your dream job to die, and then it's yours. <laughs> And to some people, never settle could mean, if at first you don't succeed, have some kids and pray they turn out better. <laughs> Who knows? I guess what I'm trying to say through all of this is that we might be leaving high school forever, but we can still take the lessons that we learned here in the last four years with us into whatever we do. Before I go, I would like to take this opportunity to personally thank God, my family, my friends, for guiding me through everything during these last four years. Dad, thank you for being an inspiration to my future career. And Mom, thanks for always playing tennis with me after school. It was entertaining and I will beat you one of these days. <laughs> I would also like to thank Orville, my cat, for the unlimited amount of support he has given me these last four years. Congratulations, class of 2016, we're out of here. <laughs> Please welcome Ms. Carmen Hewitt, Independence High School Assistant Principal, to the podium to present this year's citizenship.